A big hand for Dave Torres. David. David or Dave, does it matter? David. What's going on, everybody? I was reading an article today, and I read that 50% of our kids have ADD. When I was a kid, ADD was called something different. It was called stupid. <laughs> now doctors say, well, we found out that adults also have ADD. Well, if you're stupid as a fucking kid, you're fucking stupid as an adult. You know? Well. I went to the doctor and I tried to get some prescription because I wanted a day off, you know? So I told him, I got, I got LFPR. He was like, what the fuck is that? I was lazy fucking Puerto Rican. <laughs> Couldn't get a pill for it. Uh, Send my ass to work. But we wait, we wait to get that good thing to take a day off. Swine flu. I loved it. I read the paper the next day I called my job. Called my boss. I got it. Yeah, what you got? I got the swine flu. What the fuck you mean? Ho hold on. <laughs> Here? I got it. I got it. You know? Gotta get that day off. Whatever it takes to get that day off. I want it. I want it, you know? The ones I felt bad for is if you was a Muslim and you caught swine flu, can you go back to the house of Allah? You can imagine going back. But I mean, what you doing here? I'm back. You have swine. No, I have swine flu. No, Muhammad, you have swine. Get out. But I, Muhammad, get him out. Who, me? No, the other Muhammad. Who, me? No, the other Muhammad. Oh, are you motherfucking the Muhammad? You know? <laughs> Can't get my helmet out, you know? Swine flu. Anything, anything to take that day off, I'll take it, I'll take it. One thing that men hate to hear when the doctor says he has to go for, colonoscopy. That could change a man's life. Once you get a colonoscopy, your friends will never let it go. You can say anything. Like, Let's shoot basketball. No, you had a finger up your ass. <laughs> Fuck it, man. And when you get a colonoscopy, it's like, you know, you try to tough it out. You try to be like, you know. You go in there, and once you hear that glove slap on, and then you hear that gel, you know? I tried to do it, but I, I gave the doctor the L Cool J look. You know? All of a sudden, you change. Like, I felt that tip go in, and my emotions, I, I went. <laughs> I, I made fucking sounds I never thought I could make. You know? And he's like, you okay? I'm like. Telling the doctor shit that I'd never know. So what are you doing for lunch, doc? He's like, what? Well, not, nothing, nothing, you know? Uh, you know. And a grown man in a fetal position is not good. It's not good. Yeah. Gentlemen, women already know the power of the coochie. We will go to war. We will fuck up relationships for coochie. And we'll do anything for the coochie, you know? I had one girl, fucking girl got turned down by Sesame Street. <laughs> you know? But hey, I wanted the coochie. But here we are making love. She gets on top of me. She says, you like that, Elmo? <laughs> what the fuck you mean you like that, Elmo? She punched the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck? She said, you like that, Elmo? I looked at her and said, Elmo, like that. <laughs> Elmo, like that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> After that, 
every time she spread her legs, I said, Cookie! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do what we gotta do. We want the coochie, we gotta do it, you know? I had one girl, she was in love with thugs. I was like, fuck it, I can act like a thug. I want the coochie. You know, we're hanging out in 40 Deuce and someone is bumping into me. And I turn around, she looks at the person. You gonna do something about that? I'm like, damn, I want the coochies. You know? The person bumped into me again. She said, so I said, fuck it. So I turned around and I punched the little girl in her face. <laughs> and I told her, next time your wheelchair bumps into me, I'm gonna fucking give you a flat. You know? We gotta do anything for the coochie. You know? Coochie is power. And women know that. Guys, you know, we can't get over. Women have shit planned for days. When they do something wrong, they got girlfriend after girlfriend after girlfriend covering for them. One girl sees a movie, and they tell the story to all of them. So when you say, where was you at? Oh, I was at the movie. Then they say a movie that they know us men ain't going to watch. What was you watching? Oh, my sister's keeper. Okay. You know? But then us men, we fuck everything up. You know? I mean, example, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Us men now are sleeping with our cell phones, taking a shower with them in plastic bags. <laughs> Just for, you know, Tiger fucked it up for us. You know? Before you would act the tough role, so, you know, you tell the girl, you go ahead, check my phone. Check it. And she'll be like, oh, forget it, you know? you like, now you say, check my phone. Well, she go to grab it. Oh, you play too much. <laughs> You play too much, then you try to race shit by shooting train. Shit, you know. <laughs> Tiger fucked it all up for us, man. But man, men are cheating, men are cheating. Look, even our governor, but he got an excuse. He can say, I didn't know it was her. <laughs> I thought it was you, honey, you know? <laughs> you know? He, he got a good excuse, you know? When you're blind, hey, what the hell? Oh, man. Well, there's a lot of crazy thing going on in this world. There's a thing called the eye in the sky. That America can see everything. But we can't find fucking Bin Laden. <laughs> this is an eight-foot fucking giant in the desert. <laughs> and we can't find this guy. You know, they can see you smoking weed on 42nd Street from the space. <laughs> But they can't fucking find Bin Laden, you know? He's out there making a video, and every fucking month he's says, Hero America! I'm here, I'm here! And we can't find him, you know? Probably motherfuckers at Disneyland, who knows? <laughs> Shit, bro. Did anybody see when they threw two fucking slippers at our fucking leader of the world, fucking Bush. And he did the Matrix shit. That motherfucker threw two slips in the Matrix. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit went right by him and shit. He didn't even see that shit. Bush is bad. If that was my mother, my mother would never miss. Puerto Ricans don't miss with slippers. <laughs> my mother would throw a slipper, the shit would go around the corner. You be on the table, when you pop up, that motherfucker hit you. What the fuck? You know? Careful, Puerto Ricans have the skill. My mother's like Yoda. Star Wars was about my mother. Cause Yoda, my mother has the same hands and everything. And my mother can throw shit and it'll just float in the fucking air. And then it'll hit you, you know? I know that shit was about my mother. Well, my time is up. Let me say good night, everybody. Thanks for having David Torres, folks. Funny. <laughs>